Hello and welcome. I'm Tavleen from BuildWooFunnels.com. Well, this is a place where we give you the tools to build sales funnels in WooCommerce. And in this particular video, we're talking about the fastest route to checkout or basically how to skip the cart and send people straight to the, to the checkout page. Uh, well, now let's understand why would you really want to, to do that? Uh, to answer that question, let me ask you a counter question. So let's say you were driving from A to B and your navigation device said we have found a faster route to B that avoids a 16 minute congestion at a roundabout. Would you like to take it? How likely are you to say yes? Well, unless you're really enjoying the journey and you're enjoying being in traffic and you do not want to get to be in time, you will 100% say yes. Similarly, you can shorten the time uh, for your user that it takes to check out, that it takes to purchase a product from your store by letting them hop the cart and directing them straight to the checkout page. Well, so that is Cart Hopper. Now, it is an add-on of Arrow Checkout. I would urge you to explore Arrow Checkout and see what Cart Hopper can do for you in detail. I will drop the link in uh, the description box below. Uh, well, so in a gist, it basically allows you to skip the cart here and send users directly from the product page to the checkout page. So basically, substantially reducing the time that it takes for them to purchase a product. Well, now firstly, let's back up a bit and understand what does the conventional flow look like. So how do people currently purchase items from your store at the moment? So what happens is that uh, you've got a traffic source, so you direct traffic from say Google or Facebook and send it over to this page right here. So well, this is your product page. Now the user clicks on the add to cart button here and when they click on it, they're actually led to the cart page now on the cart page they click on proceed to check out well so that's step number two and finally they land on the checkout page which is where they click on place order right here so there are three steps involved from the product page to the thank you page for a user to complete the journey now, what happens when you have cart hopper set up and you have uh, chosen to skip the cart for the product? Well, in that case, you have the buy now button here. Note, not the add to cart button, but the buy now or the checkout now button here. When the user clicks on this button, they are led straight to the checkout page. So the cart is completely eliminated. Well, so this is cart hopper for you. Now, I'm sure some of you who are watching this video would be definitely like, hey, Davleen, you are wrong. Back up. Why would I want to skip the cart? Because, uh, you know, that increases my order value. More the stuff people add to their cart, more they are going to pay me. Well, for that, you're not wrong completely. Yes, you're right. But think about this. Well, this is the card abandonment rate and it is on a rise so it started with 59.8 percent in the year 2006 and it has gone up to 75.6 percent in 2018 uh, it also touched a very high mark of 79.2 percent in the year 2017 now i really hope that you understand what this means this basically means out of every 10 people who carted an item Two people only made it to the next step. So eight people just carted the item and ghosted away. They never came back. Well, so that is what is uh, that is what it represents statistically. That is how high the skepticism is around online buying. So if you really are spending all the money and the effort directing people to your product page, your primary aim has to be to close the sale. It cannot be to increase average order value. Secondly, take a look at this flow visualization of a typical e-commerce website published by Conversion Excel. Now, it shows how people drop off at different steps of the purchase journey. So at every step, there are drop offs. So when there are 1.4K people on the cart page, well, there are only 301 people that make it to the billing and shipping page. And finally, only 42 out of 1.4K complete the order. So which means that's a 
people keep dropping off at every step. You must understand more the number of steps you have, greater the friction and lesser the conversions. Because every step is an opportunity for your user to double guess his decision. Am I making the right choice? Do I really need this product? Uh, what if it doesn't really work the way I want it to? So on and so forth. So he's asking all those questions and more the steps you have, more the users will drop off at every step throughout the purchase flow. Also, just think about the cash that you're losing uh, every time you spend money on Google or Facebook to send traffic your way because, uh, you know, they cart the item and that's it, then they coast away. So uh, stop losing cash and uh, start skipping the cart. So that is what your primary goal should be. It should be to secure the sale because there are other more pow powerful ways of increasing your average order value. Uh, one of them being using an order bump on your checkout page. The other being using post purchase upsell funnels. Well, by the way, you should definitely check out Upstroke, which is another product of uh, BuildWoo funnels, and it lets you create high converting upsell funnels. Uh, well, but that's for another video. Now, before we begin, before before I show you how to skip the cart using Cart Hopper, I will have to actually show you a high converting checkout page built by Arrow, uh, specifically to sell uh, this shaving razor here. So it's not the standard WooCommerce checkout page, but it has been built uh, specifically to sell one product, which is the shaving razor. Let's take a look. All right, so this is the product page for the razor. Let's click on checkout now. So as you can notice, we've landed on this checkout page, which is specifically built to sell this razor. So there's copy at the top, which is again to persuade people with the USP. Then we've got some text here, why Bombay Razor is the best gift you can give yourself. So all these bullets, uh, again, as you can see here is the option to add just your quantity. So you can, um, uh, you know, add one more unit to your, uh, to your order and instantly the order total will be updated. So um, that's what you've got here. And uh, this is the order bump, which is basically a, a low dollar item, which perfectly complements the main purchase that they are making so in this case they are buying the razor and the order bump is a post shave balm which obviously makes a perfect complement to the main order they can add it to their order with a single tick on the checkbox so this three dollar item will get added uh, to their order, uh, order and the order total will be instantly updated on the checkout page itself so now let's go behind the scenes and let me show you how uh, we set up cart hopper to skip the cart and direct them straight to the checkout page right here so here we are now this is cart hopper let's go there Okay, so as you can see here, we've got uh, the status, so which is if it is active or uh, or it is in passive mode, then you've got the cart item here, which is for which items you're going to be skipping the cart. And then uh, this is the match. I'll tell you more in detail. Skip cart is yes and checkout, which is where do you want to direct them to? So this is the shaving razor. This is the cart item. It's the, this is the product ID and we want, uh, we want them, uh, we want uh, the cart to be skipped and that the users should be led straight uh, to this page right here, which is checkout page for shaving razor, which has been built exclusively to sell this razor. Here you've got the option to enable skip cart for all the products. Only check this box if you are sure about uh, skipping the cart entirely globally for all the products, right? So let me just edit this. So what you really have to do is you have to go and add a new rule here. And when you will add the rule here, you will uh, be asked certain questions, for example, cart items match and then you must select all of these or any of these and then enter your cart item here in my case i want to do it for all of these so uh, i am i'm selecting all of these and then i'm going to enter the shaving razor here uh, and that's because uh, what i really want here is that when uh, when the user is buying shaving razor only, that's when the cart should get skipped. So that really is my condition here, uh, that he should be buying the shaving razor um, for the cart to be skipped. Otherwise, uh, if, if there are more items that he's buying, if, he, if there are more items that, he, that he's carting, uh, then the cart should not be skipped. So that's the only uh, thing that, uh, uh, you know, he should be buying. So when he uh, lands on this specific page, you will see um, the, the, the buy now button. Uh, and here I've got the option to change the button text. So instead of add to cart, you can say buy now. 
or you could say check out now so you've got all the options uh, so you can write the button text here and then you select the checkout template so yep checkout page for shaving razor so that is the name of my checkout template so i'm going to select this and i'm going to add the rule right uh, so which is what i've done here and then the status is active so that's it so after you've set this up you save changes and uh, when uh, they are on the product page of checkout or of shaving razor they will only see the buy now button well so that was that if you have any questions please write to me in the comment box below don't forget to check out Arrow. So this is where we've given some more details about Card Hopper, the plan it is available in, and the other bonus add-ons that you get with Arrow Checkout. So if you still don't have Arrow Checkout, why don't you? Because that is what will enable you to uh, score your conversion goal. So go ahead and check it out. If there are any questions about Card Hopper or any other thing related to Build Rule Funnels that you have in mind, please put a comment below and I will be happy to take it up for you. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed learning about how to skip the cart and direct people straight to the checkout page. Uh, if you did, please consider subscribing to this channel. I will be doing more such uh, training videos um, and uh, helping you learn along the way. This is me, Tavleen, and I'm signing out.